Welcome to Superior Profit Morning Market Meeting, 28 March 2019. I am Sagar Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company or its trading systems and products, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument, superior profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. This session is meant to be a demonstration of top-down, bottom-up and insight-based identification of trade opportunities. It is different from the weekly market roundup, which primarily analyzes the market using top-down analysis. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our market analysis, global market analysis using Australian market index AXJO. We are looking at AXJO using weekly backdrop template and daily hop on or entry template. Together we call this at a glance template because this template helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart, the backdrop candle color is yellow, that is neutral, and the shape is bullish. In the daily chart at the right edge, we have a resistance memory trend line. That means it has lower high. If it has lower high, then AXJO is not in an uptrend. Because it is not in an uptrend, even though we have a bullish cyan color candle, we are not going to consider taking any long trend. Instead, if price comes down in next few days and we have a magenta color candle, that may give us a low risk shorting opportunity, provided the weekly is also meeting the checklist conditions for a short trade, trend following short trade at that time. Right now there is no Q. Right now there is no Q swing trade opportunity in XJ. China market, USA and China are undergoing trade negotiations. I think the American team is in China right now. Until one week ago, in the weekly chart, the backdrop candle color was cyan. This week, the candle color has turned yellow, neutral, and the shape is also indecisive. Today is Thursday. China market is already closed, so we have one more day to go for the week. In the daily chart, this week price came down. The traffic light candle color is red. Those who entered a long position in CSI 300, that could be initiated right after it created the false downside breakout in the weekly chart. They could be holding partial position until now. And now they can put a trailing stop to protect profit in the remaining position. If it bounces up from the current price level, then there is no need to exit the remaining position. If it goes below the trailing stop, then one may close the remaining position with profit.
Hong Kong market. In the last session also we discussed this was weaker than China market because the weekly backdrop candle color had turned yellow for several weeks. This week the backdrop candle color is remaining yellow and it has displayed a bare release signal in the weekly chart. In the daily chart, though price came down, it hit the memory support line and stopped there. On Monday, price gapped down. The memory trend line support was already there. For the next three days, price is moving sideways. Today's traffic light candle color had turned yellow. There is no trade setup in Hang Seng Index right now. If price goes up from here tomorrow, then that may give a very low risk, long opportunity. One may try to enter such a trade using intraday real-time chart in the morning session. That will let one take the trade with even less risk because the risk will be using five minute chart interval. India Nifty Index. In the weekly chart, once it broke out of the sideways range, the weekly backdrop candle color is remaining bullish, cyan. As I discussed earlier, the Q traders could take a long trade at this point using the sideways market box setup. They could take it either in the index or as is usual, Q traders often don't trade the index or the ETF, but drill down into the ETF or index and look for the weakest fundamental stocks then try to look for a low risk buying opportunity. If one entered a stock long position at that time, partial profit could be booked along the way and one may be still holding the remaining position. This week on Monday price came down. That was a gap down day, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it went up again. Today's traffic light candle color is green. The flow candle color is cyan. Traffic light candle color is shown by the ribbon as well. When it had a gap down day on Monday, did the remaining position stop out if we use trailing stop? Let's check that out using the stop chart template. I have set up everything in the menu bar. I can click here. As the price was going up, our stop would also go up using this magenta dots. And indeed, on this day, if we use the trailing stop, we would get stopped out. That is how the Q protection signal in this stop template very beautifully helped us trail the price, keep our stop safe distance away, and then exit us with the with the profit in the remaining position when the price gap down. This trailing stop works quite well. Let's look at the British index, UK index, FTSE. UK is having issues with the Brexit decision. They are not able to decide what to do. I didn't check today's news. Let's check today's news. Using Refinitiv Zenith, we can see EU says it needs a Brexit yes from UK Parliament. 
and here the latest news don't see anything on Brexit I keep an eye on the headlines not necessarily drill down final trading decision is based on the technical fundamental and industry analysis that is the Q trading technique in the weekly chart the backdrop candle color is neutral the candle shape is also indecisive in the daily chart price is at memory support today's candle color traffic light candle color is bullish shape is indecisive because the weekly is indecisive there is no trading opportunity in FTSE right now among all the market indices that we analyzed Australia China Hong Kong India and UK only India has a bullish pattern in the charts all the others are indecisive there is no trading opportunity in any other of these market indices we'll have a look at the USA market later we can see e mini s p 500 in fact okay let's let's go through s p 500 the weekly is giving a doji candle as of now the color is yellow neutral shape is very indecisive in the daily chart on monday price came below the memory support line and since then price is remaining below the memory support line that is not bullish however for all the four days price is practically moving sideways therefore it is not bearish as well it is indecisive and the indecision is clearer from the weekly candle shape though one memory trend line support is broken there is another memory trend line support nearby in the last weekly market roundup i discussed all the market futures for the usa market only russell 2000 futures didn't have any support memory trend line let's look at russell 2000 rty in the daily chart there are multiple memory resistance lines and there is no support line underneath the weekly also has memory resistance no support the weekly candle color is magenta here unlike spy if price goes down now in the daily chart and gives a magenta color candle that will give us a possible trend following short opportunity the relative performance is sharply tilting down showing that it is underperforming the market the swing band indicator is also showing that it is in a downtrend if the market goes down i mentioned it earlier also russell 2000 or its constituent small cap stocks would give the easiest shorting opportunities today let us do some bottom up analysis we'll start with sonar we'll carry it out on two, two different ways let's start with q edge we have all the stocks listed in the stock tab with their vital fundamental statistics we are going to look for overvalued stocks by clicking the exhausted battery icon we can filter for the overvalued stocks their valuation column is in magenta color we don't have to look at the score so long as the color is magenta we know it is overvalued in terms of valuation they are overvalued let's also look for stocks where the latest earnings growth is decreasing from previous quarter year over year 
quarterly earnings growth is decreasing from previous quarter. We can find that out by applying the smart filter, this thumbs down filter. We now have all the stocks that are overvalued with decreasing earnings growth. Let's sort by double clicking on the EPS column. We want to only look at the stocks that are having negative earnings growth. So I'm scrolling down. Let's look at the ones with red color and then I'm clicking the chart icon that will copy all the stocks in a format that I can paste in trade station radar. Now, Tristration Sonar, Q Sonar on Tristration Radar is retrieving data for all the stocks, calculating all the columns and filling them, filling them up with color. Cyan or green indicates bullish or on the higher side, magenta red, bearish or on the lower side, and yellow is neutral or gray color is also neutral. The stocks with possible Q trade setup will have colored sales in these four columns. Headwind for reversal trade setup, HW, GWA for go with flow for trend following trade setup, box for sideways market and bounce for exhausting trade setup. We can also look for breakout trades using the breakout column. We can use the touch column to see if price is at support or resistance memory lines, memory trend lines. We can use the pressure column to see which stocks are going up or down with heavy pressure. Pressure is a combination of volume and displacement. And U-turn indicates bullish pressure followed by bearish pressure or vice versa. The market is indecisive, but Russell 2000 is looking weak. Let's look for shorting opportunities. We can double click on any column to sort by that column. I double click on GWF and I'm going to look at these stocks with magenta color under GWF to see if we have any shorting opportunity there. Let's look at them one by one. All the tabs are linked workspaces are linked so on once I click on the stock that will come into the chart template a j g it has memory support line though weekly is bearish it has memory support in daily therefore we are not going to take any long position to make it easier let me copy these symbols into here and go through them from this radar. AJG we looked at, then CRI, CRY. The weekly is magenta bearish, daily is magenta bearish, however daily has a long lower tail. Therefore, as of today, we are not going to consider taking any short trade. EGHT, weekly is cyan, Therefore, we are not going to take any trend following short trend because weekly is not meeting the checklist conditions. We don't need to look at the daily at all. FANG, weekly is cyan. We don't need to look at daily at all. OLED, it doesn't have any trend following setup following the checklist because the weekly is yellow. Using the bearish headwind signal that came one, two, three, four days ago, 
one could take a short trade at the very top at that time. We can see the weekly was already yellow from one week ago. Therefore, on this day when the bearish headwind came, it met all the checklist conditions for a headwind reversal trade setup. You could take the short on that day. It is already in a small profit. If it goes down a little bit, it will cover more than the risk distance and we could book initial profit at that time. OLED, it is in semiconductor industry. This gave a valid headwind reversal short setup on Friday last week. Let's check OLED's fundamentals. In Q Vital, we can type the stock symbol, Reuters symbol. And click the play button. Now streaming is on. It is going to retrieve data from Refinitiv Zenith. First, it retrieved some basic data. Now it is retrieving the peer list. And once that is done, it is going to retrieve the data for all the 42 stocks and calculate vital statistics. From the vital statistics, instantly we can see that it is overvalued stock and it also has negative earnings growth. That was expected because that is how we selected these stocks from QH in the first place. This is in semiconductors industry. Let's check the industry strength or weakness from QH. We can do that. We are going to simply filter for semiconductors. Semiconductors industry. Here, it is clearly weakening with some deceleration. Therefore, we had a Q360 degrees trade on this red candle when we had a technical trade setup, reversal trade setup in OLED. OLED was fundamentally overvalued with decreasing and negative earnings growth, and the industry was weak. These are my favorite kind of trades. This was in the short direction. Let's see if we had any other trades. POWI. No trade as of the last bar. One, two, three, four. When this magenta color candle came four days ago, that time one could take a go with flow trend following short trend. At that time, I can see the weekly was already magenta. Therefore, this long magenta candle in the daily chart gave us a trend following go with flow short trade. All the checklist conditions were made. We wouldn't take any trade on the last part because it has a long lower tail. So the candle was not decisively bullish. Sorry, the candle was not decisively bearish. If you entered the short trade on this long magenta candle, you are still in the trade. It has not hit the st stop loss. It hasn't hit the profit target also. If it goes down in next few days, hits the lower boundary or the memory support, then initial profit target would be hit. RPM, weekly is cyan, therefore we are not going to take any short trade, and TTGT. This is giving us a breakout short trade. Usually, I am not fond of breakout trades, except when it gives a low risk entry opportunity, and here, we are having a low risk entry opportunity. Stop can be just above this memory resistance line. We 
we could enter at yesterday's market close and try to book profit somewhere near the lower boundary level or once the risk distance is covered. Weekly is not magenta, however, we have a memory resistance line for one, two, three, four weeks. Price is not able to go above that. Instead, we had a bearish shape candle one week ago and this week's candle shape is also bearish. Using the memory resistance line, the bearish shape in the weekly chart and the breakout in the daily chart with bearish flow color candle, we could consider taking a short trade at market close yesterday. Yesterday also had heavy bearish pressure. TTGT, we know this is a poor valuation stock and it also has negative earnings growth, decreasing earnings growth. That's how we selected these stocks. Let's check this stocks industry, TTGT. The moment we change the symbol, it retrieves data on the stock, advertising industry. Let's look at that industry's score. Usually for trading purpose, we are going to focus on the five day score. One day score sometimes can give rise to whipsaw or noise. Using the five day score, we can see that it is weak and using the pace column, we can see it is decelerating at the same time. Therefore, here we have a stock that is in a weak industry, in a decelerating industry. And if we check the fundamentals, yes, indeed it is poor valuation with negative and decreasing earnings growth. And it gave a breakout trade setup. So from these stocks, we found TTGT giving a short setup as of yesterday's close and OLED gave a very nice catching the top where he doing reversal trade setup a few days ago. That is how we can combine the industry strength or weakness, fundamental strength or weakness, and technical strength or weakness to find Q360 degree trace. In this case, we started with Q edge, applied the smart filters to look for overvalued stocks that are having negative and decreasing earnings growth, then drop the symbols into Q sonar dashboard using radar and looked for the stocks that are giving trend following short trade setup. We saw OLED OLED gave a trend for gave a not trend following reversal trade setup at the very top. Those tend to be extremely profitable. And as of yesterday's close, I can see one, two, three, four stocks are giving the very shadowing signal. Let's have a look at them. I'm going to copy the symbols to this radar. Start with CMS. We have the Berry Shedwin in the daily chart. Weekly is also neutral color. However, weekly is indecisive and there is a memory support very close by. Therefore, we are not going to take any short trade. DVN. The daily is indecisive, so we don't need to look at the weekly. Weekly is also cyan. So if we looked at weekly first, we didn't need to look at the daily. We are not going to take a short trade because the weekly is cyan. EXR, weekly is cyan. That is one reason we are not going to take a short trade. Also daily has a memory support. That is another reason we are not going to take a short trade. PNM, 
here interestingly weekly and daily both have very shed win. However, there is a memory support line nearby. That's why we are not going to take any short train. One way to use the berry shed winds is to create a short list of the stocks that are displaying either weekly or daily headwind signal, bearish or bullish, and then try to take the next low risk trading opportunity in the headwind direction. Those also give entry opportunities well ahead of other signals. Now let's go back to Sonar. I will clear the stocks. Let's start with a list of stocks. We have a list of stocks with liquid options. Let's drop that liquid option. It has about 276 stocks, 276 stocks. And let's try to find out some trade setup from here. Once we find a technical trade setup, we are going to look up the stocks fundamentals and technicals. That's another way of applying the 360 degree technique. AMRN. We can see it had a big day yesterday, though the market went down. Let's look at AMRN. It's a biotech stock. AMRN weekly is magenta, so we are not going to consider any long trade right now. Once I decide I'm not going to take a trade, I remove it from radar so that it doesn't take processing power. AVEO, it went up hugely, another biotech stock. I'm reading biotech industry name from here, this column. Biotechs tend to go up suddenly or go down suddenly. You can have a look at the stock. It went up, but it stopped right at the memory resistance in daily. Because it has memory resistance in daily and weekly both, we are not going to consider any long trade. Let's look for some buying opportunity. AK Steel. AK Steel, cyan color and weekly and daily both. How about there is a memory resistance? It's inside a triangle pattern in daily. So we are not going to buy the stock now. Once I decide that, I delete the symbol. Let's check for bullish headwind. There is no bullish headwind. Is there any box long trade setup? No. Bounce long? No. I see there are some stocks that are touching memory support line. We may look at these stocks if we are looking for stocks that are touching memory trend line support, we could look at the daily interval. We could also change the interval to weekly. That will give us even stronger support. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy these stocks into the other sonar so I can investigate them and I'm going to change this bigger sonar interval to weekly. It will take a while to refresh the data. And after that, I'm going to see if there is any stock with weekly memory trend line touch. While it is refreshing the data, I can go through these stocks that are having daily memory support. Adobe, it is having daily memory support, however, the candle shape is indecisive. Not going to consider buying that. AM80, magenta color in daily, not going to buy that. CRM, 
red traffic light in Delhi, though it has memory support. I'm not going to buy that. FEA or EFA rather. This is looking better relative to the others in terms of shape in the daily chart, daily candle shape, and also has support from the wide direction line here, support from two memory trend lines. However, weekly has a memory resistance just above current price. Therefore, we are not going to consider buying this stock. ETA. Memory resistances are there in weekly, daily, both. Fire Eye. Daily is looking good. These are the techniques. These are the stocks where you could use the memory support line to buy at the very bottom. If you ran this sonar radar yesterday near market open, then when price came to the memory support and bounced up from there, you could use intraday chart to take a very low risk entry using intraday chart. Now we are not going to take any trade because the daily is indecisive. FEZ, this is also looking good. Again, if you were running the sonar yesterday, then Precisely at the moment you tried to go below the daily support, memory support and reverse from there, you could use intraday chart template to take a long position at that time. This is Euro stocks index ETF. Google, or G O O G, G is Google, yes, alphabet. This also bounced from the bounce from the memory support line from the anchor points, you can find out whether the memory was already there when price touched it yesterday. And we can see the anchor points were here and here. Therefore, the memory support was already there when price tried to come and touch it yesterday and went up. You could take a very precise entry right at the memory support. So Google again, another symbol. Let's look at IBB. Bearish weekly color, bearish daily color, Netflix. Netflix is bearish in both weekly and daily. US oil. It is having support from this memory support in daily. However, it has a bearish headwind. Therefore, we are not going to consider any long trade. WMB. Price is very close to the upper boundary line, weekly is indecisive. We didn't find any suitable long entry using daily chart. The best one was Google, which yesterday came to the memory support line precisely reverse from there. At that time, we could take a long position. Let's use single chart template. I'm going to change to daily interval first. When the radar flashed the touch column with bullish color, we could check the memory support line, which would be here, 1159. Then we could change it to intraday chart template. And you can now see that price came to this price level, which was the daily memory support level, and displayed a bull release signal with heavy pressure, heavy bullish pressure and heavy activity. That is equivalent to a bounce long setup. If you combine the memory support in daily and the bull release signal pressure and high activity in the intraday chart. It was oversold for many bars and 
then the oversold condition went away also it was at price extreme low or pendulum low for many bars and then it displayed a reversal candle there were many bullish signals using that you could take a very precise long trade at the close of this five minute bar stop would be just below this candle and as price came here at least partial profit could be booked the remaining position could be closed at the end of the day or if you took the long position at this point using stock you could close the enter position at the end of the day and with part of profit you could buy some bullish option position if you were bullish based on the daily weekly interval the daily is weekly is not looking bearish in google because it found support the overall market is indecisive what about the industry and fundamentals let's look at them start with fundamentals interactive media and services industry retrieving the stock data calculating by the statistics done quite fast the valuation is in the middle earnings growth is quite strong all are in bright green color therefore we could buy the stock as a growth stock earnings growth in all the last three quarters and the last year all are in bright green valuation is in the middle what about the industry strength interactive media and services the industry is not very strong it's in the middle neither magenta nor cyan in the middle in the current market this is probably the best setup that we saw so far for buying i am holding a long position in a stock most of my current positions are bearish i only discuss stocks that i shared earlier let me see if i shared that stock earlier in our forum biotech no not this one give me one minute please i use the refinitiv zenith to track my stocks this computer may not have all the latest stocks vnda vnda this is a stock where i have a bullish holding and you can see i have a lot of bearish holdings let's look at vnda did i share it in the forum before let me check no what about our twitter must have shared it somewhere yes march 21 this is the snapshot i shared on our twitter channel and this is how the stock looked like at that time the weekly had bullish shape neutral color it came to the long term watermark support level and it was reversing from there in the daily it had a bullish shape candle 
and at that time price was just below the memory resistance fundamentally it had good valuation optimal valuation value stock and with excellent earnings growth it had a short squeeze potential when i shared it based on that i commented that if it breaks above this memory resistance in daily that could give a very low risk buying opportunity i could have a 360 degrees analysis of that stock right at the time it was about to break out but didn't break out let's look at the stock today that was 21st march and let's look at v and da today the market was weak earlier however this stock is holding quite well you can see from the weekly daily at a glance template now the memory resistance in daily is not there it is broken therefore one could take a long position yesterday i think the memory resistance was broken yesterday how is the fundamental of this stock now it's always good to recheck the fundamentals on the day you are entering because it can change based on new data coming in takes only few seconds to check retrieving the prs now retrieving the stock data and calculating vital statistics still value stock with of course earnings growth is not changing next earnings is on 30th april what i did in this case i took a synthetic long position and i bought a protective put also in this case this is dr jeffrey's setup i learned it from him earlier i used to trade only using stocks or simple call put or verticals but after listening to Jeff, dr jeffrey sometimes i am using the synthetic position sometimes without the protective put sometimes with the protective put if i remember correctly in vnda i have taken the bullish position using synthetic long that is shorting the put longing the call and buying a protective put at a lower level to reduce my margin and i use the strike price that is beyond the earnings date earnings date is 30th april so don't remember the exact expiry but that is beyond 30th april that is the only bullish position i am holding now and you can see how i am choosing the stocks when i was looking at the shorting opportunities we discussed oled it was a shorting opportunity at the top very low risk shorting opportunity it was overvalued with negative earnings growth and then vnda is exactly opposite i am buying it at the very bottom on technical charts and fundamentally it is a value stock and with positive and increasing earnings growth mirror image of each other let's look at a stock where i am holding a short position i will only discuss stocks that i shared earlier otherwise it may seem like i am looking back that's not superior profit way let's look at this stock w i shared it 6 days ago at that time the base column was magenta therefore it was decelerating w is overvalued with negative earnings growth fundamentally it was weak at that time technically weekly was neutral color yellow color it had a bearish shape candle and daily had a bearish headwind signal it was breaking below memory support with bearish flow color candle magenta with 
there is extreme pressure and price was at pendulum price extreme high it was again a shorting opportunity at the top in an overvalued stock with negative earnings growth how did it turn out so far w I could take the short trade during the day on this long magenta candle when we had the bearish headwind signal and a bearish headwind reversal trade setup. Since then it has fallen very nicely. In this case, I had taken the trade using short call vertical. It's relatively expensive stock, $170. I took it using short call vertical. It is working out quite well. I think it has more than 50% profit. For vertical trades, one approach is to book partial profit at 50% profit. I may do that today. If it continues to go down, I may hold on to it till it hits the lower boundary. Otherwise, I may book at least partial profit. I tend to share many trade ideas in the forum it is open to the public i share the 360 degrees analysis sometimes if i don't share it in the forum i may share it in the social network pages facebook or twitter superior profit channels you may look at these stocks and find some useful trading ideas from there Let's have another look at the futures. We'll look at Emini. The daily candle shape as of now is almost 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Daily candle shape is bullish. Weekly is remaining yellow and indecisive. Let's come here. Here I have all the market futures in weekly interval. Russell 2000 is up for the week nq is down other uh, e mini s p 500 is almost unchanged we know that from the indecisive shape in the weekly candle so russell 2000 is up dow is up s p 500 unchanged and nasdaq is down looks like if you are looking for shorting opportunities then you may look for them in technology stocks and small cap stocks. For the day overnight market, we can see here from the lower panel, it's almost unchanged for all of them. Oil is down today as of now, minus 1.48%. It has a memory support, therefore we are not going to take any short trade. However, if oil is going down, you may consider taking short trade in energy stocks. GPRE is a stock I was looking at. I think I shared it in the social network page. It came to the memory resistance and tilted down from there in the weekly chart. And in daily, it was not it was, it broke memory support yesterday. It could give a low risk shorting opportunity. Before ending, just look at the fundamentals of GPRE, GPRE.O. In oil and gas refining and marketing industry. Retrieving the stocks data, calculating vital statistics. Done overvalued stock with negative earnings growth. You can see the pattern. For shorting opportunities, we are looking for overvalued stock, negative earnings growth, low risk technical trade setup, and we would like to have weak industry. This is oil and gas refining and marketing. One way to easily filter is copy the text from here. Go to edge. Just paste it. It is showing weakness in base column, heavy deceleration. 
Therefore, it is okay to look for a shorting opportunity in the stock. That is the way we apply industry rotation analysis, fundamental analysis, peer analysis, as well as technical analysis to our trade setups. That is all the time we have for today. It's 9 a.m. Thank you for attending. Where is my slide? <laughs> Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.